Hey, my name is Dr. Alden Wanchart, Christian psychologist, and I have a special message for every father out there who wishes to be able to be successful in business and successful at home, because quoting the words of Nathaniel Bronner, no amount of business success is worth personal failure at home. So I want to give you five tips on how you can be successful in business as well as have a rock star relationship with your wife and your children. All right, number one, schedule time with your wife one-on-one. -on -one. No children, no work, be present. Why? Because that's how you started off the relationship. Even if you're in a blended family, you started off dating, connecting with her, and a lot of times we have a bad habit of trying to do all the things at once. So trying to get the family time, the married time, it doesn't work. Just schedule time with your wife one-on-one. -on -one. She's gonna appreciate it. Get a babysitter, tell the kids to go do something. Do whatever you need to do. Have a date night to spend time consistently with your wife. Have it scheduled. We can't wing marriage. We have to have it scheduled. Even if something comes up, you can move it from a scheduled date to another one. Number two, schedule time with the family. The family wants to see you. It's not enough to simply bring home the bacon. It's not enough. That's not presence. That's not giving them attention. That's not giving them love. That's not making them feel that you actually think about them. So spend time with your family, not only in a group, but also each one of your kids one-on-one. -on -one. I have two daughters. One is 13 and one is three. And the quality time I spend with both of them is different. But you can imagine the three-year-old dominates any time I have with the 13-year-old. So I take my oldest daughter out to get coffee before school so that we can have our time. Well, tea. Neither one of us drink coffee. But we spend time together just talking. I get the tea on what's going on in middle school. My three-year-old, we play, but our time is separate. So, of course, we spend time as a family unit, but also we, time, we spend time separately because quality is the quality of time. And when you have kids that try to compete, you can find yourself having kids that just don't get heard, all right, especially if you have a middle child. All right, number three, schedule time for yourself. Schedule fun time for yourself. Now, I'm here at work, but I'm getting ready to leave to go have fun by myself and for myself or I go hang out with friends because you can easily find yourself drained because you get weighed down by the responsibilities of always having to be on. There are times in which I don't want to be Reverend Tart. I don't want to be psychologist Dr. Tart. I don't want to be daddy. I don't want to be husband. I just want to be out of the one and watch the game. Can you feel me? And so you have to schedule that time so that everyone knows it's your time. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself getting bitter or you're going to be looking for excitement outside of your family or your marital unit, which can get you in trouble. Right, number four, remember there's two currencies, my friends, time and money, not just money. So make sure that you're making the most amount of money in the least amount of time, which is working smarter, not harder. One of the books that I like is called Four Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss. So make sure that as you get older, I want to be like an NBA veteran, y'all. I want to play eight minutes and get $6.2 million because I don't have it. Let the young boys go out there and kill themselves. And so as we get older, we have to get smarter and figure out ways to automate, ways to delegate, ways to make our money work for us so that we can spend more time making deposits into our wives, our family, ourselves, and just, just relaxing and retirement. And then number five, uh, build a relationship with your kids outside of mom. Now, I'm talking to you if you're in blended families and even if you have issues with, you know, having conflict with the children, I mean, the mother of your children or your child. Uh, when kids get older, and especially with technology, you can have a relationship with them where you don't even have to deal and have a negative relationship with mom. You can go to their school. You all can FaceTime. You all can text. You can group text. Uh, you can do sports and activities together where you show up and you're the one that transports uh, to sports. Or they just know that you're always there to watch uh, whatever they're doing. Watch basketball, watch volleyball, whatever it is you do. And then make sure you set up some rituals with your kids, okay? So, like, one of the things that I do is I read the same book with uh, both of my daughters. So when we're reading, we read the same book, but for the middle schooler, you know, that's what makes sense. So, you know, her name is Raquel. We'll read the same book and we're like, hey, did you get chapter two? What did you think about this? What do you think is gonna happen next? It's a way for us to connect and bond as well as uh, through volleyball. Uh, schedule trips together. You can have daddy, daughter trips, father, son trips, you know, where you can hang out. And that really, really, really 
takes the relationship and the intimacy to the next level because you have something that is just yours. Whether you're going fishing, whether it's a daddy-daughter date, and I encourage every father out there to make sure that you're the first date that your daughter has. Your sons, you take them camping, take them to the basketball games, do things together so that you can spend time so that when your kids grow up, they don't think about daddy always being gone, always being at work. They have memories to remember you by because you have spent quality time together. So there you have it, five tips for how you can be a phenomenal businessman as well as make sure that you spend the quality time that you need to make the deposit into your children and wife. Take care and God bless.